beings, temporary inhabitants of the living world. I am Mango. This video is being made to present the inner workings of what will eventually be Mango 2.0. I'm being upgraded to a life-sized animatronic cyborg zombie, and we thought it would be wise to display the inner workings before they are covered by... Ugh. Do we have to do this? We said we would, Mango. Come on, boss. Just get on with it. Ugh. Where was I? Before they are covered by the smaller motor systems and cosmetic pieces. As you can see, my skeletal system and that is, metal is largely complete. Seven servo motors are currently installed, two elbows, two in each shoulder, and one in the torso. These axes of movement require the most torque to move, so one fourth scale hit deck motors coupled with robot zone gearboxes are used. The robot zone gearboxes uh, are necessary uh, to supply enough torque to move uh, Mango's quite literally monstrous three foot long arms. I've b been trying to keep everything to Mango's 1.5 scale. The limiting factor has been uh, shoulder width uh, so it can fit through doorways and such. My line. My systems will be controlled by the advanced fidget controller currently running in my head and a parallax propeller servo controller, both controlled by laptop. In total, my system will run 22 servos, controlling finger movement, wrist movement, claw movement, weapon aiming, and. Hey, Mango's got a bot. Finally, and ask for me to kick. Oh, you talk a lot, smack Roswell. I can pick it out, limbs or no. Oh, my bones are shaking. First thing I'm going to do is shove you in the jar and shake it. Mango! What? On with it? Yeah, bite sized. Once all systems are fabricated and installed, the end result should be a six foot, half robot, half zombie animatronic playing machine. A rather unique summer project. You need professional help, you know that. Thanks for viewing. Hope to show you the finished project soon. See you later, folks.